Welcome inside the state's emergency operations center at Cal OES headquarters outside Sacramento. Inside this room, many of the state's top emergency managers and leaders from dozens of agencies have been working around the clock to coordinate response and recovery operations for more than a dozen wildfires currently burning across California. We've got the very latest coming up next. Hi, I'm Brian May at the State's Operations Center Cal OES headquarters. Today, the third day in a row that this room has been activated around the clock. Dozens of local, state, and federal agencies working together to help those affected by the wildfires. And at the same time, fire officials coordinating the massive and ever-changing effort to get resources where and when they're needed. California's mutual aid system now requesting and getting help from all across the country. We already have crews on incidents from outside states, including Arizona, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, South Dakota, and Wyoming, and en route to California now, Florida, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, New Mexico, and Oregon here as well. There are 17 major wildfires currently burning in California. Here's the numbers on just the top four of those, and these numbers are changing all the time. We will start south and work our way north across the state. The Cranston Fire, that's in Riverside County, sitting at 100 or, or 13,000 acres, 29% contained. The Ferguson Fire in Mariposa County, this is the one that's been blanketing Yosemite Valley for a week now, 53,000 plus acres, also 29% contained. The Mendocino Complex Fire, this is actually two separate fires. It's the River and Ranch Fires, two fires being coordinated as the Mendocino Complex. This fire has exploded. The number you see there, 24,000 acres plus, but it is doubled today. It grew almost 15,000 acres overnight. Containment at 10% and evacuations all across the area. The entire city of Lakeport evacuated late this afternoon. And then the largest and deadliest fire in the state, the Car Fire in Shasta County. It grew another 5,000 acres overnight, now approaching 90,000 acres containment still at just 5%. Earlier this afternoon, local and state officials held their daily press conference, updating residents with the latest on the firefighting efforts for the car. And for a change, their message was one of increasing hope. We're feeling a lot more optimistic today as we are starting to, to, to gain some ground rather than being in the defensive mode on this fire uh, all the time. We're starting to make some good progress out there. Um, I think you can see that um, as we move around the fire, um, we're going to continue to, to work hard to get direct line on this thing. I think by tonight, you'll start seeing containment uh, percentages increase. Well, that was this afternoon. Last night, local and state leaders held a community meeting in Reading. And as you can imagine, one of the first questions that they got from the audience, what's the time frame for us to be allowed to go back home? And safety is first and foremost. Oftentimes the infrastructure, roads, and the utility power lines have been damaged. We have to get those back up or the utility companies do. When we come to the decision with our fire cooperators to repopulate an area. We do so in a controlled process and it's done in stages. Usually um, a section of a community will be repopulated so that we're just not dropping the green flag and everybody's rushing in at the same time. Oh, yes, yeah, some 38,000 people have been evacuated in Shasta County since the car fire began and officials saying at that press conference this afternoon they are hopeful to begin repopulation soon. Now, in the meantime, here are the shelter locations in Shasta County and there are again a lot of people in these locations. Shasta College in Reading is full. They're redirecting their evacuees to the Cross Point Community College in Reading. They have about 150 spots available. At Simpson University on College Drive in Reading, They've got also about 60 spots available. Grace Baptist Church in Reading, now with a capacity of 200 and just opened. Foothills High School, 300 spots available. If you are a resident of Shasta County, you are urged to register your cell phone to get emergency alerts. And in Shasta County, the notification system is known as Code Red. The Sheriff's Department, the local police and fire departments all feed into Code Red. That website is shascom911.com. That's shascom911.com. 
Again, I want to show you a live look inside the state's emergency operations center at Cal OES headquarters in Sacramento. This room has been staffed 24 seven for the past three days. And while the fires are managed from the incident command posts on location, it is the overall coordination of state resources and logistics that takes place here in this room. We want to focus top priority is getting the fires out, you know, saving lives and, and, and keeping people out of harm's way and getting the fires out. This is challenge because, as I mentioned earlier, the weather conditions make it um, uh, such that, you know, it's ever changing. And of course, we, we don't have just one fire. We've got 17 major fires going throughout the state. And, and, uh, and so resource uh, management and coordination is very, very uh, important. And we're constantly here in this center moving the chess pieces around to ensure that we've got uh, adequate amount of resources in the right place at the right time. For more information on any of the large wildfires burning across the state, you can go to the Cal Fire Incident page. That is fire.ca.gov. There are links there for each of the major fires, including the latest information and the latest maps. For all of us at Cal OES and all of our local, state, and federal partners, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.